welcome to the new edition, um, September the 1st puzzle. We, um, I've just finished the puzzle this morning. Um, very nice, a um, lot of good clues. Uh, one thing that struck me when I was doing it was how many uh, long answers there were and, and the sense of and broken answers. So, especially obviously four and five down, where you've got two 15 letter answers, but both of them have two or three parts and I thought we'd take a look at clues like this or answers like this more today I mean partly because I think the fact that you've got many words in the answers tends to make them more guessable to the solver you know if you see uh, for, for example 14 across here where we've got um, trendy auditors pinching a bishops behind 2-7 there are only a few possibilities for that first word. Um, the trendy in the clue should immediately be making you think of in. You know, if something's in, it's trendy. Um, and then we mentioned a couple of days ago in the blog that bishop could be B, but it could also be RR for right reverend. Um, so here we've actually got um, I'm not, I'm not going to actually tell you the answers today either. I'm going to try and lead you to the answers. So if, if you've got in a double R, uh, you've got the word auditors in there, which obviously could mean uh, people like Price Waterhouse Coopers or Ernst and Young, or it could mean something uh, far more simple uh, part of the body. And if you're behind, it could be, again, the clues trying to uh, get you to think of, um, you know, a naughty person from Price Waterhouse pinching a, uh, the bottom of a of a bishop. But you can behind be behind in a mother sense as well, and that's what the clue is getting at. Um, so we can have uh, help for in in the sense of getting or being able to guess words within the string relatively easily. But also, I think the setter is is more constrained on in clues like this. Um, t they tend to have to use uh, more bitty wordplay, and that can help the solver um, to guess these answers more quickly. In general, that's not you know that's just a, a general observation. Obviously, obviously, there are some examples which are brutally difficult. But but this clue, I think, or this crossword contains a number of good examples of where we can actually um, make valid guesses. Let's, let's take a look at 27 across now, where we have drunkard approaching very big climax, as it were. So here, one of the bits of crosswordies I think will help uh, drunkard very often is SOT, S-O-T, um, and that's simply because it's such a useful, um, such a use that those three letters are so useful together that setters like to use them often. Um, so knowing that, when I saw this clue, I immediately disregarded drunkard as, as possibly being definition. I was looking at the other end of the clue, and I could see it might be, the clue could be climax as it were, or simply as it were. And as it were, with the SOT at the start, that felt right. So I can tell you we're looking for uh, an expression meaning as it were, beginning with SOT. And the other thing I'll just mention on, on this clue is very big. Uh, very big uh, is commonly uh, abbreviated in crosswords to OS, which I think stands for oversized or outsized, it might be. I'm not sure which, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, if you see very big, be thinking of the abbreviation OS and try to put that into the clue somewhere. And that should be enough to get you a handle on 27 across. Now, let's spend a moment or two having a look at 4 and 5 down, because these are obviously hugely important to cracking this puzzle um, quickly. Um, neither of them are desperately easy, to be honest. Um, 
the let's look at four down first. So wearing pelt cape after pub brawl in Northwest Town. I hope from the practice we've been doing over the last couple of weeks that when you look at that clue you would think that the definition is Northwest Town. Um, it's hard to see how 624, especially hyphenated, uh, could mean wearing or wearing pelt. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't seem likely. Um, so here, you may just be able to guess a, a Northwest Town, 627. Good luck to you if you could. I couldn't. But I was helped a lot by looking at um, the instructional phrase in the middle, which we've also talked about in previous episodes, so after pub brawl. So it made, made me think that I was looking that the start of the answer here was, was pub brawl, or a word for pub followed by a word for brawl. Now there are only a few short words for pub. Um, bar is very common and obvious. And similarly, there aren't that many short words for brawl. Uh, and again, the most obvious is probably row. So that should be enough, I think, to, to get you started on that clue and to allow you to understand and you should work through how wearing pelt cape becomes the final part of the answer. And finally, let's have a look at five down. Now, th this one, I think it is slightly harder to spot which side of the clue is, is the definition. Um, I needed some letters to, to help me here. Uh, I can tell you that the definition is actually maybe PAs. Um, and what the clue is trying to say is that, that the answer here is an example of something that a PA will do, uh, or PA, uh, one of a PA's skills. Um, so let's have a look at the rest of it and see if we can detect any sort of wordplay from brief, pithy and cryptic way. And it's actually quite difficult to break this down correctly, but I'll tell you what you're looking for. You're looking for a five-letter word, meaning brief. You're then going to follow that with an anagram of the letters pithy and. And then you're going to follow that with the abbreviation ST for way. Um, so way being a street. Sometimes way can be RD as well, for road. Um, so, so that's that's how you need to to break down the wordplay there. I hope that's enough to get you um, to get you a grip on how to work out the answer. Uh, I can see that the sun is just coming through my window, which is giving me an awful looking uh, illumination. So apologies for that too. Uh, I hope you can that doesn't distract you when you're solving the crossword, and I hope that this start on the grid um, is useful today. Let us know if you, you know, you prefer this sort of approach, or you'd actually like to see the answers being typed in. And we'll see you again. Or well, tomorrow's the, the prize puzzle, so we won't do a blog on on that, but we may do the Killer Sudoku again, or one of the other uh, puzzles that appears in the Times. See you then.